as you can see, my yarn room is horrendous. Um, we had some guests a few weeks ago, and then I had a shop update with some new items, so I never got a chance to tidy up, and I've been shipping orders. But let me show you, I just got these trucker hats in that I'm so excited about. They have Stay Wild Squad on them, and they are custom designed for me by Ohana, which is the local shop where I sell my goods. Um, but I had such a problem shipping them because none of my boxes are a good fit for them that I currently have so I might need to actually get new boxes this season um, that better fit the hats but let me show you. So I mostly use these uh, shipping boxes from Eco and Clothes for all of my beanies and so these are the ones I ship if someone orders one beanie and then I have a slightly bigger one for if they order two to three depending on the style and then I have a really big one for people that do big beanie orders. So I thought that the hats would fit into the single beanie box. <laughs> but they don't at all. The bill is just too long, so, and it's too tall, honestly, so I, not only can I not get it in, I wouldn't be able to shut the box. So I was like, okay, well maybe I'll use my bigger one. So the bill fits in there, but the top is still like taller than the box. I mean, barely. So then I was like, okay, well, I don't want to ship in the biggest box. Like obviously it would fit, but there's so much space and, as like a more eco-friendly business, like I don't want to be using a ton of shipping materials or just to have a bunch of space in the box. So I'm gonna have to figure that out um, the next time I order packaging, which should be pretty soon. So what I ended up doing is I did end up using that medium-sized box. So I just fit it in and then I just stuffed it with uh, the craft recycled craft paper that I used so that at least it would hold its shape. And then I just shipped it like that, but. Whew, yeah, it was not my best work as far as thinking I had the right shipping supplies, but not. But yeah, so I don't know. I guess I'll show you the new hat. Um, I don't know if you can see. So Emily, who is the owner of Ohana, the shop that I sell my goods, she does all of the designs for their apparel and home goods and stuff like that. And so I actually had her do a custom design for me that says Stay Wild Squad that I am so excited about. Um, so I thought they turned out really well. And I wear this hat style all the time. And people always ask me where my hat is from. I guess it's become almost like my signature hat in the summertime. So I was like, it would be cool to just incorporate it a little bit more into my shop um, and sell them there. So that's what I'm doing. But now I have a couple of sticker orders and a couple of tote bag orders. So I'm just gonna quickly clean up this room and then pack those up. got a couple of sticker orders here and these stickers are just something I really enjoy. I love stickers and I always put them on my water bottles and stuff like that. I designed a couple on Canva using art from Creative Market. Like I wish I could draw but I can't. Like I really admire all of the illustrators out there. And then I have a friend who draws and she, um, I gave her my design ideas and then she basically brought them to life. So I'm super excited about them but it always makes me happy when people like the stickers. I have my little card and so how I organize my stickers, I actually saw this from um, one of Catnip's vlogs and she is an illustrator that I really love and she vlogs about her stuff. Um, I actually really love her vlogs. Um, but she basically puts one of the actual stickers on a little card and then in a little insert thing so you can organize them like that. So I was like, oh, what a great idea. And I don't have a ton of different designs right now. Um, I have a bunch in the works actually, but this is how I organize them. So I'm just going to grab the couple of orders that I have and then we'll just get packaging.
as you can see, I don't really sell a ton over the summer months. That was like three orders, but it's actually really nice to not sell a ton in the summer because I really need it to prepare for my busier fall and winter months. I'll kind of talk a little bit more about that in a future video, um, but I have a whole thing about utilizing your slump months. Um, and summer I think is usually a slower time for retail anyway, but I know a lot of makers will try to like think of summer items to knit and crochet and sell. And some people are super successful at it. But for me, it's because my focus is on beanies um, and I'm not really trying to expand my types of knit items, it worked for me to not push sales of beanies in the summer. Like I'll still sell a few of the hut trip and lightweight camping style beanies and stuff like that. Um, but I'm not putting a ton of my energy into marketing them because I'm utilizing that to more share adventures or to like this summer, I am redoing my entire website. I'm migrating my entire um, email from MailChimp to Flowdesk and um, working on a whole bunch of new packaging. Hence my running out of some packaging because um, I'm making a bunch of changes, so I want to run through my old stuff before I get any new stuff. Um, but yeah, so lots of exciting things. excited about these new hats you guys so I got them in three colors and so I needed to go take some photos of them I am out on the trail right now with Kate yeah. back from the hike with Kate. It was awesome. We got to go on this beautiful hike with the dogs and take photos of the new trekker hats. Um, and then we got some lunch and then now I'm putting tags on all of these hut trip beanies that I need to take down to Ohana. It's gonna be a really busy weekend. So I just wanna make sure I have some hats at the shop. Um, I don't sell a ton in the summertime, but people still buy hats um, for camping and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that and then do some errands down down. baby sized hut trip beanies. They're kind of more toddler size, I guess, but the fact that you could fold the brim up or down makes them really good for um, adjusting as like the kid grows or whatever. Um, but yeah, I don't usually sell them on the website, but Ohana has a really cute kid section, so I make them for them. And it's raining now, so I'm just gonna finish these up and then hopefully do a quick run downtown before things get too crazy. I ran out of my little tags. They just say handmade with love that I include with the hang tag. Now I have to punch the holes out in all of these. Um, for some reason they don't come with their holes punched. So gotta do that too. <laughs> Um, 
I'm going to input the number of beanies I'm bringing to Ohana. So I keep like a spreadsheet of everything I bring into the shop. So I can kind of keep track of like, you know, every month, how many of each type of item did I bring in? And not necessarily because of, um, I sell with them on consignment, not necessarily to keep tabs on what they've sold and what they haven't, but more so, so that I can make projections about, about how much I needed to bring in every month and how many sold and that kind of thing. So we're gonna do that. All right, I'm finally done tagging all of the hats. I also found three of the Loved Your Lands beanies, so I tagged those two. But I just saw an order come in, and I usually do like the shop update model where I kind of get all of my orders at the same time or within like a few days of each other and kind of do everything at once. But in the summer months when I'm really slow online, um, I just leave everything up there. But I got this really big order um, for Canada. So I'm gonna go package that first before I run downtown to drop everything off at Ohana. And then I actually have to go pick up um, the items that I had at the art show. The art show is over after today. So I'm gonna go pick everything up. But yeah, it's just kind of a, all kinds of different things day. It's still really rainy, so it's kind of dark in the yarn room, so the light's kind of weird, but I'm so excited. I've gotten two international orders in the last week, one to Australia and then this one to Canada. So I'm gonna gather the order up and then I'll show you what they got. sure I have everything. I'm just gonna look on my Squarespace app to just make sure. I think I got it all. Sets of notebooks. Wow, isn't this order so cute? And she ordered a bunch of knitting patterns, but she got a bunch of these stickers. Um, and then I have these field notes notebooks. I use these all the time. They're just great little notebooks for everything, like ideas. I put my knitting pattern ideas in there. Um, like habit tracking, that kind of stuff. So she got these two sets and 5% from when I purchased them at wholesale of these goes towards the national parks and then I donate to the national parks as well. And then she bought a trucker hat. So these are new to my shop this year. Um, and same with the Stay Wild Squad tote. I am so excited about this order. office I have to get to the art depot by six so I only have 15 minutes and I still have a couple of more errands to run 